Welcome back to the channel, everybody. I got something pretty cool to share with you. Uh, it's this, it's this. I'm not gonna make you wait. I'm not gonna make you wait. It's this right here, okay? And I, you're probably thinking, well, that's just a white rock. It is not just any white rock. This rock displays tenebrescence, which is a very interesting thing that we're gonna discuss here on this video. Here on the channel, we have discussed fluorescence and we have discussed phosphorescence which are two very interesting things that you can witness if you have long wave, mid wave, and short wave UV lights. Well, this uh, displays tenebrescence, and tenebrescence is essentially the electrons that have been excited by a UV light resisting dropping back down to their normal orbit. Now we can force it, or we can just let them naturally fade. So we are going to check that out right now. We're going to do this uh, with a couple of different lights. I have my 365 nanometer UV beast light. I have a 255 nanometer light from Midnight Minerals. So long wave, short wave. And then uh, this is just like a, a flashlight, a super bright, normal LED flashlight like that you would use for, I don't know, uh, camping or outdoors, anything like that. Uh, that one there is used to kind of reverse the process. We should have a nice healthy orange glow here. And it does look pretty cool. Okay. But uh, it doesn't really change colors here because the tenebrescence is the resistance of the electro from the electrons. And in this case, you might be able to notice a very slight, slight purple hue to the stone. Now we will uh, reverse any of that coloration with this light. Very bright, but it forces those uh, electrons back down into their, uh, I guess, how, I don't know how, what do you call it? Their resting state perhaps. And now we will do this with the short wave and you can just watch that thing turn a very deep, deep purple. The light's on, by the way. And I'll turn that off. And now it's purple. How cool is that? How cool is that that it changes colors like that? I love it. I really want to see this thing fading under a time lapse. So we're going to do that right now, as well as we will be running a stopwatch just to, just to see. So let's uh, get this thing all nice and purple. We're just going to watch this fade under my kind of natural LED shop lights. They're pretty mild in here. You know, it's uh, not in, in particularly uh, bright. So let's do that. We're good. And uh, let's watch that fade. So right here we are at three minutes and we are mostly entirely, there's a couple little tiny spots that I can see, but I would say about three minutes under the shop lights. This, I think this piece here is very cool. However, it's not my only one. I actually have uh, this little piece here and I want to look at it under the microscope and then we can kind of watch it change colors in, in real time with a little bit of magnification. The, the downside to this whole effect is, well, the natural light that we need to either view something under the microscope or view something on a camera is also reducing the effect. So seeing it probably in a very low light condition would probably be ideal. And uh, maybe we can do some things with some low ambient light and some photos. But right now, let's take this little guy over to the microscope and we can watch it 
change colors with a little bit of magnification. I'm just gonna use the digital for this. It does look extremely cool though under the optical microscope. And you see, I have these two uh, gooseneck lights here and uh, I just have them on low. They're just kind of facing away. We'll switch over to the microscope view now and I will hit this with uh, the UV and we can kind of watch it change in real time. That's pretty neat, isn't it? I think that's pretty cool. The change is extremely quick. Now, uh, just for good measure, we'll hit it with the long wave as well. And you can kind of see that turn that bright orange and hmm. Well, there it is. That is a uh, quite purple, if you ask me. I think that's pretty cool. Overall, I'm very happy to have these specimens in the collection. And really, generally speaking, having a short wave and a long wave light has really opened up how I view rocks and minerals and collecting. And th there's just so much. These offer an entirely different way of viewing your collection of rocks and minerals. So I would highly recommend if you can afford a short wave, a long wave, or whatever, uh, to get into it, you might be surprised at what you can see and uh, interesting effects like tenny <laughs> uh, The Yeah, very cool. Very cool in my opinion. Well, um, I did take some photos of this and I do think it looks particularly good. Why don't you let me know down below, do you have a long wave, a short wave, or even a mid wave UV light? And if so, what do you have? I would love to hear from you. And with that said, I'd like to thank all the good folks over on Patreon who support this project and uh, go check that out as well. And also don't forget about the website, currentlyrockhounding.com. There'll be some links down there. All right, y'all. Y'all take care and uh, I will catch you guys on the next video.